people. Shalom Ras Tefari. This is your brother Wendy Miyada, Ras Yadinos Tefari. Salam Tanat Ainayus Alain. And before we go into our next um, presentation um, and lecture, we want to announce for the for the book club, the Ras Tefari book club in our line of Judah Society book club, some new publications that we now have available. Um, these two new publications, one is called um, Gedel Weiss Gedel, or Contending or Cliff, this particular book right here, this particular book right there, uh-huh, right, this particular book, this is in Bamarinya. so we're going to put in a request for some translators as well some of our brothers and sisters out there who are pretty fluent and speak Amharic. We need to come together, teamwork and staff work, and there's a lot of works that we have available um, that need translation. And it was that. Some of them are very basic, but, you know, it's more than just <clears throat> the handful of us at present in society in order to do this work. So some of you all out there have the skills. Get in touch with us, contact us, go to the website, www.lojsociety.org. Click on the contact link and say, hey, I'm available, I'm a translator. This is a, a very, very good book. You understand? I mean, um, this particular book, just to give you a little bit on it, this book was written in Amharic by one named Memhir Getacho, um, and it critically explores and even critiques from an Ethiopian, I would say a Protestant kind of a perspective or uh, evan evangelical kind of perspective, various ancient Mariologists, um, saintly hom homilies, and some of the original Ethiopian Kabbalistic and occultic texts, um, most that were originally written in Ethiopic or the Gutas and later translated into the official language in the empire, Amharic. Many of these works may have been translated from Hebrew or Coptic or Syriac or Aramaic and even Greek versions or even originals. Um, most of these are now lost in other languages and have been preserved in the Ethiopic and the Amharic. Now, um, Menhir Getacho, he attends somewhat successfully um, in his critique, at least his presentation of certain arguments um, comparing the Holy Bible themes to certain aspects of, of the um, Ethiopian occult. So this kind of deals with Ethiopia, occult uh, religion and ancient spirituality of this 3,000-year-old um, highland um, culture. Now, many of these... Um, from a Western perspective, strange and complex theological scrolls like um, the Lefafa Siddiq or the Bandlet of Righteousness are still vigorously preserved in Ethiopia today in its occult uh, use by many Ethiopian Christians. These magic scrolls were prepared by saintly monks, mystic debtors, and uh, the Rastafarian like ancient Bahitawis or, or ascetics who were and some still are great scholars and adepts that are trained in the ancient theology of the Ethiopian Orthodox, the Tawahido Monastery. So this particular work right here, um, Gedel Weis uh, Gedel, um, mainly is in the heart, contending or a cliff, and we need um, some translators for this and a and, uh, series of other related books that are mainly in heart, but we want to start to publish translations. So what we're seeking to do is to um, get a committee of uh, translators, of, of native speakers. We will work with them in the final productions and the process, so forth and so on. And of course, they will get due accreditation on any translated works. But this is a word that we need um, Ethiopian translate or Amharic speakers to, to co-partner and to work with us in that capacity. So th th 
this might be just a message just to say, listen, we got works like this, Gedel Weis, Gedel, which we translate as a contending, a contending or a cliff. And there's a, there's a little, um, how can we say, there's a little word play in that. So from an uh, Ethiopian perspective, a speaker uh, um, who understands the language will get the the inkokalish, the like riddle, um, Gedel Weis uh, Gedel, this particular book. And we attempted to translate it as contending, a contending or a cliff. Is this really a saintly contention? Or theologically speaking, are some of these um, doctrines or teachings the author contends, is it like a, a, a cliff? Is, is it very dangerous? And the next work that we want to touch on, so this is one, right? And the next work is this right here, which is called the Gedla Adam the Gedla Adam, or the combat of Adam and Eve against Satan, this particular work right here, right? This is the other book that we want to discuss as we go, as we go forward. So this is the next particular book that we have, right? 